Hey there everybody, Mike Delicio here with another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing. Today we're going to be taking a look at a large game here, Cultistorm, the bold ga board game. It says it's the Kickstarter exclusive edition, so keep that in mind. Depending on what edition you have, it might not look exactly the same. Looks like from 2 to 5 players in about 75 to 120 minutes. Looks like we've got some minis going on here cards looks like there's a whole lot going on inside this box let's see if we can get a better idea of it got some great old one cards, so i don't know this this has a very cthulhu feel to me i suppose the cover could have been an indication of that too but it's just a lot of eyes all right right off the bat we've got some minis here the rules of madness all right well, let's take a quick look at those yeah that looks creepy uh, goal of the game is, of the players is to seal all five locations. So it's a cooperative game. Okay, well that answers that question. We've got all of our components laid out here. Our investigators, gate seal cards and markers. The setup. Looks like we've got our game board there. All right, starting equipment. You're choosing investigators. You've got the cultist phase. The cultist threshold looks like maybe you're traveling around the board in a clockwise location or, or orientation, at least a, just based off that quick look. You've got the terror phase, which I'm guessing isn't good for the players. Preparation phase, the investigator phase. All right. Combat phase, location sealing phase. And it looks like that's your main goal is to seal those locations. End of the game, then you've got some variants, a two-player variant and explanation of icons and such all right well let's take a look at what else we've got well we've got some player aids those seem to be nice all right plenty of those got a lot of cardboard here we've got the player joseph mcmillan supporter all right looks like they're double-sided there Okay, let's take a look at some of these different characters here. We've got Jane Carter, the fighter. Professor Robert Wright, the researcher. Catherine Kane, the psychologist. And they all have their own individual player powers. It looks like Jack Graves, the gambler. Frederick Machinsky, the medium. All right, and here we've got, looks to be the game board which is going to be put together. All right, so large pieces to put together the board. All right, single-sided. All right. And let's take a look at some of these large-scale cards. The uh, Asylum in Arkham. Well, that sounds familiar. The Lonely Hut in Dunwich. Miskatonic University, yeah, this is certainly a Lovecraft game. If, if we didn't know that already, we certainly are seeing it now. The Occult Library, the Lab of the Reanimator, the Well of Colors. There's certainly beautiful art. I mean, it's creepy, but it's really well done art. Got our player bases here. Looks like we've got a lot of custom dice. custom dice there and we've got some white custom dice as well so you've got some elder signs on there none of which I rolled there we go all right take a look at some of the smaller cards there's a lot of cards here I don't think we're gonna look at all of these because that would take too long but at least we can get an idea of some of these cards Let's show off some of this art looks like we've got our Equipment, microscope, found money, parcels, smoke bombs. All right. Certainly a lot of nice art there. Ooh, terror, permanent effects. Those don't, you, I'm assuming you don't want these cards. Just going to take a guess there. The final act. And then just some player color cards, okay? Let's take a look at some of these monsters, shall we? I know people a lot of times like to see what you're going to be facing especially in these types of games let's see if we can get a sense for some of those oof the dark young that's not attractive the cats of urbar uthar sorry 
Yeah, those kitties don't look like they're there to play. The brown Jenkin. Ooh. Chthonian. Dagon. Yog Sothoth. I'm not... <laughs> I'm not going to try to pronounce all these. I mean, I'm familiar with a lot of them, but I don't think I ever pronounced them well. Mother Hydra. Twin Elders. The Dark Young. Woo! Yeah, those don't look pretty. And then you've got more pieces of equipment. All right. Then it looks like we have maybe some crystals here. Plastic crystals. Those are nice. And then take a look at some of these minis here all right this guy doesn't look like he's there to play around I don't know this looks particularly nasty if I can get it out of there yeah yeah that's not pleasant and then it looks like you've got your investigators here the good guys. All right. Well, there is certainly a lot happening in this box. Hopefully, we got a pretty good idea of what to expect from Cult of Storm, the board game. Thanks for watching another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing. Thanks so much for watching another Dice Tower video. If you enjoy our videos, subscribe to the channel for more fun, comprehensive board game coverage. Also, consider joining us at one of our events. Come to Dice Tower Retreat, a small, intimate gathering where gaming is king. Join us for Dice Tower Cruise, the largest board game cruise. Attend Dice Tower West in Las Vegas for gaming fun on the West Coast, or Dice Tower East in Orlando in sunny Florida. Dice Tower Conventions, the friendliest gaming conventions on Earth. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.